today we're going to quickly talk about some uh, leg and ankle locks. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of knee and ankle locks. So, I don't necessarily know if I'm executing. Here's the problem. No one's a fan of knee and ankle locks. No one does them. So, everyone's unfamiliar with them. So, even the experienced person may not know what the heck you're doing when you go for these locks. Now, the way that I'm going to get this, there's a couple of ways we'll do it. I'll show you one or two the way you can set this thing up. But, so, Brayden and I are fighting. You know, young guy always wants to kick me in the head. Old guys go, don't kick in the head. And the reason we don't kick in the head is because old guys grab your leg. Right? And so from here, I can do a number of things. I can just push up, and he'll go down. I can strike here, he'll go down. Typically, I'm always a flare for the dramatic. I, I sweep the leg. Now, no, you would be very nice to break. Like, I need break for the rest of the day. So we're going to take a sweep. I'm going to come easy now. You'll notice I'm here. I've got the leg. So the leg is set up. So, I'll do step over, grab, and come down. Now, there's two ways to land this. First leg is if I get in deep, I come here and I'll cross. Like this. Now, you'll note, I'll take this forearm, and the knife edge of my forearm goes right in his calf. My legs, I use the figure four, but I want to keep them down in control, right? Because I don't want them coming up on me. And then all of a sudden, I just relax the arch. You're going to see him tap quick. It's amazing. You would think, how are you, how are you generating a force that hurts? Like, my whole body's on this leg. Like, I can just kind of usually do this. Brady, did you do your homework? Oh, I guess he did. Now, if I don't land that, or I choose to, there's another way to do this. Rather than focusing on this knee of this calf, I can slide a little bit back, get this foot in my armpit. Now you'll notice, foot's in the armpit. The key is, foot's in the armpit, forearm is around the ankle. Now you're noticing, I haven't done anything yet. Brain's already locked and loaded to tap, right? So now I come in here, I just bring these hands close to my head, here. Now all I gotta do is just rotate just a little bit, and also, see, you can do a lot. Now, it wouldn't take much, you just go right. And that's pretty much the end of that fight. Now, note, when I say rip, I mean rip. We in the AOKK -OK don't believe in holding people. It's not what we do. We believe in creating damage and creating damage fast. Locks are either to damage or to set up for throws. We're not holding anybody. We're not police officers. We're trying to defend ourselves. Now, I told you about this, this move, right, where he goes and kicks, right? We block, we come, we sweep. That's one way to get into it. Another way is, you know, I can do a typical, you know, double leg where I smack, come in here, bang. Now, you notice I'm here as well. Would this be my first technique? I don't know. Quite honestly, I don't know what technique I'm going to do until I get in the heat of the battle. I have an idea. He's going to tell me. And if all of a sudden we end up here, I'll go for an ankle lock because odds are really, really, really good. He's never seen it. And those are the principles of a leg lock and an ankle lock.